Hi, this is Paul Savetto of Windows Phone Central, here with a video review of Battleship for Windows Phone. It's an Xbox Live game from Electronic Arts. Battleship is based on the classic board game, I suppose you'd call it. It's uh, got the classic mode, which is basically regular old Battleship, Salva mode, and Super Weapons, three different game types. So let's give Salvo a quick look. One thing I don't like about this game are the load times. Just to move through menus, you have to put up with them. Nice bit of tutorial. Okay, at the start of the game, you position your ships wherever you want. Do not leave them where the computer wreck starts them. Just tapping the ship rotates it. Could be slightly more intuitive sometimes, but works well enough. Okay, and now in salvo mode, you can fire one shot for every ship you have remaining. Since I have five ships, that means I get five shots. I usually like to have them in a touching pattern like this. By default, it plays these firing animations. You can just skip through them, or you can turn them off completely in options, which is a good thing, because even though they're neat to see like once, they really slow the game down. It would be better without them. Firing again. <laughs> Looks like the enemy lost their aircraft carrier. If you quit a game mid-game, you can resume it later as long as you pick the same game type. Nice feature. Okay, here's super weapon mode. See, in addition to the normal single fire shot, you start with several other weapons that you can pick from, and you can unlock more by sinking ships in the single player game and things like that. So here we've got frag bomb, chain gun, and airstrike. There's that loading again. I don't believe they couldn't just keep the entire game menus and all in RAM. Okay, now each of these weapons has a charge-up time. So you have to make several moves before one of them is available. Okay, now I've got an airstrike. In addition to single player, you have pass and play multiplayer or Xbox Live, which is online games. Pass and play, unfortunately, does not contribute towards any of the game's achievements, so a lot of players will simply avoid it. Multiplayer achievements really should have worked with that mode. Now, in Xbox Live mode, you can choose new game or continue. A lot of times, uh, this will the Xbox Live button itself will be grayed out because there's a bug where the game either simply bugs or it doesn't connect to the server properly and you have to restart the game. Very annoying. But right now it's working. Okay, so you can choose your game type and whether you want to play a single, best of three, or best of five. There's that wonderful loading. To send an invite, I can type in somebody's email address or gamer tag, or I push the little plus thing and I can invite people from my contacts or Xbox Live friends list. That plus is quite easy to miss. Anyway, once you send the invite and the other person accepts, you take turns asynchronously. It's pretty fun to play against another person, however, it takes forever to download their moves. Like, basically you'll get a push notification or whatever, and uh, then you choose to accept it and play the game, and it's like a minute before you get to make your turn, then your turn lasts five seconds, and you've then got to wait for them, it's going to take them at least a minute. Basically the game moves very slowly, other online games like 
indie games like Alpha Jax and King of the Sea do it much, much more quickly and much better, basically. So Battleships Online works, but it is rudimentary at best and pretty bad, to be honest. Another thing I don't like about the game are the achievements. Like I said, a lot of them can only be accessed in single player and or only unlocked in multiplayer. That divide is really unnecessary. The game, you know, it asks you to do these really specific things and it would be a lot better if you at least had a chance in either mode. Not to mention, they expect you to complete 200 online games, which will take absolutely forever and you'll need somebody else who agrees to actually play that much with you.